Russell right now with Michelle and Beth. Say hi. <laughs> We're gonna go see, um, meet up with my other sister and see our friend perform. He plays the violin and just like have a fun little girls' day. So, the moving I'll show you guys what's approach. going on. Margaritaville. We plan to drink tequila here. All right, so here at Margaritaville, got myself a Don Helio Margarita, which is probably one of the best tequilas you can have, in my opinion. Silver. And I have a cheddar bacon burger with no bun and extra lettuce instead. Sweet potato fries. Michelle did pretty much the same exact thing as me. And then Mary has a nothing healthy at all crab cake sandwich. <laughs> Oh, there's something green on my plate. That has a pickle. That's, yeah. that's her healthy green. <laughs> Alright. Oh Good morning. It's the next day. We are about to head to the gym right now. I'm going to be doing, I think, a shoulders and um, chest workout. Mainly just to get like this kind of area. Like the armpit fat area. A lot of people, a lot of girls in particular, have issues with it. And I personally kind of want to get mine looking better too. So just to kind of make the tank tops look better on you whatever. So that's what we're working out today. I will see you at the gym.
post workout meal here is a salad, nice big fat one. I've got um, chicken, red bell peppers, cucumbers, spinach, and American salad salad mix on there. And then I put in a big scoop of this um, boar's head roasted garlic gluten free hummus because everybody knows what happened to Sabra and now I can't eat that anymore. I don't know, I'm just too scared. And then here are some of these pita chips for some carbs. Stacy is simply naked. Macros aren't very bad for you. Whatever, not very many, N nothing too crazy. So this is what we're having. And I'm gonna watch a little something on the TV and chill before I have to work. What's up guys? I just wanna to talk to you quickly about something that I noticed during New Year's Eve. As you guys know, or as some of you may know, I am a bartender and New Year's Eve is kind of like the, it's known as like the rookie night. Like people who don't typically go out and drink usually come out on New Year's Eve. So it just kind of makes bartender life a little more difficult. But I wanted to share a couple tips about drinking because I'm all about like having a good time and having a good balanced life. So, I mean, I'm not, I, yeah, of course I'm into fitness and I'm into eating healthy and feeling good about yourself and working out a lot, but I'm also into balanced life. So that, if that means going out and having a drink with your friends, then you should be able to do that and not feel any bad consequences for it. So I have a couple tips for you that things that I've learned over the years of college and then bartending life and kind of seeing what other people do. Um, these are some tips that I've put together that really help you to not A, get a hangover and B, they won't negatively impact your um, your health and fitness level t in a terrible, terrible way. So tip number one. Number one is clear, clear liquor is better for you than like um, any kind of darker liquor. So vodka, tequila, and clear rum are gonna be let lower in sugar than something like whiskey and your darker rums and any other kind of liqueurs like amaretto sours, things like that. Um, the clear liquor is gonna be lower in calories and lower in sugar and that keeps you from getting the bad hangover. And also obviously helps you to lower sugar, it means lower calories and all that good stuff. It's, but you won't gain fat as much. Um, second thing is your mixer. So a lot of people put tonic or or um, Sprite or Coke or something like that as their mixer and they don't realize that they're adding so many more extra calories and so much more extra sugar than they need. It's a lot better to just do soda water or um, if you don't like the taste of that because I, I hate the taste of soda water and like with whatever liquor I think it's disgusting. But um, what I'll do is a vodka, like a vodka soda water with a splash of a juice, so a splash of cranberry or a splash of pineapple, and that makes it taste a little bit better. Uh, the third tip is choosing your liquor brand appropriately. So a lot of times, like the well is just the cheap stuff that the, is the basic house liquor. Um, so you usually want to stay away from that. Uh, my personal preference is Tito's vodka. It's really, really, um, it's gluten free and is basically better for you because it's handcrafted. Um, basically, I don't know, it's just gonna make you not a good hangover quite as bad as like Pinnacle per se or even anything worse than that. So that is uh, tip number two. The third tip, and this is a major key, is make sure you're eating enough food. So a lot of people are like, oh, I wanna drink my calories and then I won't be able to, be able to drink more and I won't eat as much and that way it's gonna be, it'll work out. No, it does not work that way. I mean, obviously you could do that, but you're gonna probably end up getting hammered way faster than you ever thought you would have, and you're most likely gonna get a really, really bad hangover. So, the idea is to make sure you're eating a nice big meal before, staying really, really hydrated. So at least for me, like when I go out and drink, and I know I'm gonna be drinking in a while, during, while I'm getting ready, I'll make sure that I've pretty much finished my entire gallon of water, but, and by then, you're kind of, the more hydrated you are, the less likely of a hangover you'll get. Um, tip number four is to order a water every time you order a drink. That's a pain in the ass for me. I really hate people do that. But I also I'm like, well, I understand. Like you need to, you need to hydrate, and that's what keeps you from getting hungover. So the fifth tip that I'm pretty much is my favorite one, and this doesn't really line up with the health and fitness lifestyle. It's more of like the prevention of a hangover, especially if you got way more drunk than you thought you would, and you're kind of like, oh, backtrack, and you really. I mean, what can you do? You can't undrink drinks. So 
best way to kind of sober up before you go to bed is to have some nice greasy pizza or whatever kind of greasy carby fatty food that you can have honestly if I have pizza before I go to bed um, I'm pretty much gonna be okay the next day of course that's not like a healthy option so if you're not very drunk and you just and you're getting home and you're just feeling buzzed like maybe you had two or three drinks have something have a small snack have some chips have something you know something with carbs and something with a little bit of fat in it and the next day you should be fine just chug a lot of water so those are my top tips but I want to show you what I personally drink because being bartending you're kind of around the liquor all the time and I'm not gonna lie to you I cannot drink vodka at all anymore because I've I've just abused it <laughs> way too much um, that's mostly in college that wasn't really a bartender problem but um, even now, if I have like two two vodka sodas, I'm just like, oh, my stomach starts feeling nauseous. I'm not even, I don't feel buzzed at all. I just feel nauseous immediately. So this is what I drink. It's my favorite. And you can always try this out. This is going to be the lower sugar. And knock on wood, I am have not gotten hungover off this drink yet. Like nothing really bad. I used to get really, really bad hangovers where I'm throwing up literally every 10 minutes during the entire day long the next day. Like if anybody was in my sorority, you'd probably remember because it was terrible and I never changed my drinking habits, which is the stupidest thing. Problem was when I was drinking then, I was drinking like vodka and Sprite and flavored vodka and Sprite. So I mean, that's about as high in sugar as it can get. And I was not a smart drinker at all. I drank my calories and I didn't eat them. Like I did all the wrong things. So I'm telling you guys, this is based off personal experience and I also see it all the time. So now I have really, I drink pretty often, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I'm honestly never really get hung over anymore. It's really nice. Like I'll wake up in the morning with like a mini, a little headache or something. And I'll just chug some water and have some coffee and I'll usually be fine within a couple hours. So, without further ado, let's go see what my favorite drink is, and I will show you. My last quick tip, totally forgot to say this before, was if you do wake up in the morning with a hangover, and by that I mean like if you're nauseous and you feel like you're gonna puke and all that, um, ginger ale really helps. Like ginger ale or anything ginger flavored will soothe your stomach, and that always really helps me a lot. So, and that also goes if you're already drinking at the bar and you're kind of feeling like you're getting too much, you know, obviously slow down, maybe stop take, stop drinking, get a ginger ale, get a water, and that really, really helps. So, that are all of my tips, and I'm going to show you my drink next. So, I just realized that I bought Sprite Zero instead of Club Soda, like I meant to, like an idiot. So, I mean, this will be fine. At least there's no calories in this, but, um... It's just a little more artificial sugar, which I was trying to stay away from. But this is supposed to be club soda. <laughs> I didn't even read the label. It just looks like club soda. And I was like, okay, great. So anyways, here's the, here's the drink. I do Patron or Don Julio Silver, which I really prefer Don Julio Silver. But Patron also works. So not everyone has the Don Julio. Or I guess it's Don Julio Blanco, like whatever. Here we go. And then you just put in, I mean... I'm gonna make a nice, not very stiff one today, just to be safe. And then here's our pretend this is fun. Okay. Put this in, pretend this is actually club soda. I'm just pouring that right here. And then, pineapple juice. This makes it taste a lot better, because I guess I could probably drink the tequila with the, with the Sprite Zero, but that's not ideal. So I just put in literally a splash and mix it around. Ah, that's delicious. That makes me feel like it's going down. <laughs> no, that's great. So basically that's my favorite drink to drink and if you're gonna have it as a shot, I'll just do like a chilled um, silver tequila, either Patron or Don Julio Blanco, and a pineapple back, which is just a little sip of pineapple juice that you take afterwards. So, I mean, this is going to be the highest in sugar. There's 24 carbs in this and 100 calories for a whole can. I for sure do not drink an entire can. So, you know, whatever. It's natural juice. That's at least better than having a lot of soda or like, you know, Coke and Sprite stuff. So, Hope you guys, if you want to try this, give it a shot. I know people are really scared of tequila. They're all like, oh my God, tequila is going to make me do crazy things. I don't know why. I think it's one of the best things for you um, as far as liquor goes. 
and the good thing about these is that it's 100% agave so that's going to be more natural and that's less of a possibility of getting a hangover so that is that i hope you guys try and enjoy it if you do like it or if you don't like it whatever let me know in the comments below i always like to hear that and um this also works really well if you do vodka like tito's vodka or grape juice instead of tequila if you don't want tequila anything with soda and a splash of juice usually tastes pretty good and it's the lower calorie option that tastes good so thank you guys for watching this is going to be the end of the video so i appreciate you all watching please like and subscribe and if you give this video a thumbs up, it really does help my channel. So please do that and I will see you in the next one.